to be a fighter takes uh, determination, uh, a lot of balls. I feel it takes something that comes from a background, an abnormal background, as you would say. Uh, you know, somebody that wasn't brought up nice and proper, somebody that was brought up pretty tough and, you know, and, and you have to have a lot of discipline, self-discipline and determination and, and guts. And that's what makes a decent fighter. Punching, of course, good punching power helps. To have the balls in the heart to be in the ring, you'll be able, whether you're the slowest guy, whether you're the hardest puncher, not the hardest puncher, as long as you have the balls in the heart and determination, you'll be able to move up in your career. That's what it takes. You, you, you could be a Sugar Ray Leonard, if you don't have the balls, you're just a fast guy who's gonna run away. I was 10 years old. Um, my father started me from the time I could stand up. He, he would stand, like sit behind me and teach me how to throw punches from the time I was about two. You know, he was the type of father where if you came home and somebody was bothering you in the street, it didn't matter if you were four years old, it didn't matter if you were 15, he was the type of guy to tell you to go out and handle it. So you learned at a certain age, there's no reason to come home and complain. Just go and handle it. So I was getting into street fights, even at a young age. And when I was 10 years old, uh, my father got me involved in a boxing uh, gym. And it just went from there. He weighed in at an even 184 pounds. This young man is looking for his second straight win in as many pro bouts from East Meadows, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, here is James, the gunner, Drew Ben. Drew Ben. The big saying in boxing is, the shot you don't see is the one that hurts you. So if you're familiar with the ring and your job, you see most of the shots coming, so you can either block them or roll with them. So you can go 12 rounds without really getting hurt. You know, you might get caught with a shot that, you know, you say, whoa, that was a, that was a good one, but you just move on, you know. It's, uh, it's just, the name, you know, name of the game. You hit on the button or hit in the back of the head or on top of the head, it'll go right to you, down to your toes. Then you get, you get hit with one, you, it, things go black for a minute. If you, like if you ever bend over and get up and smack your head on a, a cabinet or something, you just, you know, you're dazed, you're, you're out for a couple of seconds. You don't go down, but you're dazed. And it just comes back and you go right back into your routine. What I used to try to do is, if you hit me with a good shot that hurt me, I would jump on you. Even though I was hurt, I would jump on you to to show you, oh, I, that I wasn't hurt. I'd hit you as hard as I can and, and, you know, bang you just to show you that I wasn't hurt where, where I, yes, I really was, you know. I was pretty dazed at times. It's, it's a weird feeling. It's a hard feeling to describe. Unless it's happened to you, uh, or you're experienced it, you know, it's, it's a very hard, and then you get these shots, you get hit, you go, all of a sudden you're looking up, you're down, you know, you say, man, what the, you get right up, you say, man, what the, how, what, <laughs> how'd that happen? <laughs> you, you know, you just roll with it, you, you're so used to it, you know, like a football player getting tackled, he gets up, next play, you know, same idea. Your job as a fighter is, is, is to hurt the guy that's standing in front of you. To me, it was almost like an orgasmic feeling. Uh, you know, you hurt a guy and it's, it's, it's a complete, like, you know, a release almost. That would be the way I could describe it. So, I, you know, you hit a guy and you can feel it right through, you hit the guy with the right shot, you feel it right through your arm and into your body. You know, man, you just crush this guy. And, you know, it's an unbelievable feeling, it's a rush. It's, a, it's what you're trying to accomplish. Now you've done it and it's, it's like a rush, you know, you, you, you almost can't contain yourself. Lenny <laughs> Lataglia was a tough guy, good puncher, very, very good puncher, 
but as crazy as the day is long. I, I've been involved in boxing my whole life since I'm 10 years old. I've never really met, and you meet some crazy people in boxing, I've never really met a, a, a crazier guy than Lenny LaPaglia, without a doubt. One of the craziest guys I've ever met. We were supposed to box that day, and I come into the gym, and uh, I walk in, and Pete and Lenny LaPaglia are standing side by side, and Pete's, Pete and Lenny have blood all over them. There's blood everywhere. I said, what the fuck happened with you two guys? So, they, so Lenny looks at me with that crazy smile that he had. He says, well, I had this cyst on my ear, and I, it was killing me. So I told Pete to hit me with a left hook, and it burst open. And when I, <laughs> when I got there, Pete was still cleaning it out, but there was blood and pus just everywhere. I think it was written up in the in a uh, like ring magazine or something. Oh,